All right, here's a look at the 2000 Bayliner. It's a 2452 Sierra Express set up for fishing. Comes with the uh, nice galvanized Venture trailer that you see here. The trailer is a 2001. Does have a title, and the boat's got a clean New York title also. Um, overall, in nice condition. Got an alpha outdrive, hydraulic trim tabs. Um, the bellows and the shift cable boot are good, and we're going to change the exhaust uh, boot this week. So, all the rubbers in the outdrive will be good. The hull's in nice shape. There are a couple spots, uh, you can see right here the rub rail got bumped and a couple spots where the striping, I touched it up with some striping we had because it was scuffed. Um, the one letter's loose right here and uh, that was a makeshift eye we put on there. Bottom of the hull's in nice shape. Like I say, Altry is in good shape. It's not all corroded or nothing. Now I'll jump, jump up there and give you a shot of the interior. It does come with some rod holders. It's in, it's in clean condition. Um, We have the uh, rear seat cushions to go all the way across the back. Put the chain here. The forward seats are in nice shape. <clears throat> Cuddle pads are nice. All the controls. Um, Everything works on the boat. All the lights work, bilge pumps work, blower works, wiper works, uh, panel lights. There, there are no cockpit lights, but there's a switch for them. Uh, dome lights work. There are no electronics with the boat. It does have two uh, receivers for hummingbird uh, units. So, if you can find a couple of Hummingbird 100s, I think they are on eBay, they would uh, hook right up. There's one in the back and the front. And here you have a battery charger and your uh, isolator switch and the battery. Here's a look at the motor. This is the way we got it. It hasn't been detailed or cleaned or anything, but... Uh, it's a 5 ohm Merc Cruiser. Starts and runs excellent. I'll show you a video of that shortly. Very quiet. Serpentine belt setup. You have a transom shower set up here. Everything works. All the water systems have been winterized. It's a nice turnkey boat. We do have the key for this. Lock the cabin. Weather stripping's a little loose right here. That can be fixed. But it's a hard top, so don't get wet anyways. Going down into the cabin. Uh, really clean for its age. This is uh, this boat's been taken care of. Got map holders. Stereo is junk. Comes on, but there's no sound. It's just an old junky uh, marine radio. We'll replace it if we get a chance, but we're going to sell it as is, just the way it is right now. Uh, carpets, pretty clean. The whole interior of this uh, cabin's in nice shape. Headliner's nice. 
I uh, have a couple of the common, you know, drip stains that you see on like right here that can be cleaned. There was one right there that I cleaned up a little bit. Um, so a few of those minor ones, but I went around and I uh, siliconed the top deck. Anything I thought might be leaking, but there really wasn't nothing uh, apparent. So the stove, two burner stove, alcohol or electric, that works. Uh, the sink works. Again, it's winterized. Microwave works. And the refrigerator works. Uh, a lot of storage. There's a drawer. Storage there. And we have uh, those are all life jackets. PFD. A flag. Uh, a lot of storage under these. Pillows. Here's your rear seat cushions. Hardly been used. They don't look like they've been used at all, actually. Um, same thing with the bed cushions. All these things are still nice and firm, like original. We have all your uh, curtains for the windows. And uh, all them curtains are tucked up and snapped in place up there. They fold down. Tables removable. Some more storage down here. Another closet under there. Mid bilge. And here's the head. It's a pump out and it does work. And uh, really pretty clean in there also. And there's your uh, shore power panel. Everything works. It's got a, uh, actually has a brand new hot water tank in there, hot water heater. Or it might be the original, but it's in really nice shape. Now one receptacle right there, and that's about it. Uh, here's your hour meter. I don't know if you can read it with this sunlight. Uh, 168 hours, 165 hours. That could be original, but I don't know for sure. And uh, that's a good look at the boat. Any questions, give us a call. Uh, it is winterized and I will uh, we'll be doing a, a video of it running here in a few minutes.